Hi, in this demo I'm going to show you how super quick and easy it is to connect to the Kato Sassy Cloud using a Kato Socket X1500. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is connect our socket. I'm going to go ahead and connect the socket to power, LAN 1, and WAN 1. As you can see, it doesn't take a network engineer to hook up a Kato socket. It's quick and easy, anyone can do it. Now that that's done, we're going to hop over to our management console. As you can see, there's already an alert for the socket that we've just connected. We're going to go ahead and close this alert for now because we need to create a site to assign the socket to. We can quickly do that by going to the Assets menu. As you can see, the site page is already up. We're going to go ahead and click New. We have a few things here we need to enter for the site, including the name. We're going to call this one Houston. You can select which type of site it is, as well as which type of device it is connecting to the site. In this case, it's the X1500. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enter the country, the United States, uh, the state, which is Texas, uh, and the time zone is already set as central time. Next, we'll set the uh, expected upstream and downstream bandwidth for the site, as well as the native range in use at that location. Once this is done, we'll go ahead and click Save. And you can see the new site was added to the list. Now that the site has been created, we'll go back to that alert that we had at the beginning, and we'll go ahead and assign this socket to that site. So we're going to click Accept, and we're going to select the Houston site that we just created from the drop-down list, and click OK. Now that that's done, we should uh, wait a couple seconds just for the socket to initiate the connection to the Kato Cloud, and we're going to go ahead and refresh. And as you can see, the socket has been connected and is ready to pass traffic and apply policy. So in less than 1 minute and 20 seconds, we are able to connect a socket to the Kato Sassy Cloud and be up and running.